Happy holidays and welcome to KK's Quilt Studio. Well, we're a week away from Christmas and we're well into Hanukkah season and it's just a joyous time I bet around your house as well as here. Today we're going to make some ribbon candy. No, you don't have to get any, any ingredients out. We're going to talk about making it on our Art and Stitch program. I know we've had a lot of new users, uh, people who want to get started with Art and Stitch and just don't know where to start. So for you, we're going to go back to the beginning. We're going to go back to, to where do I start? Well, here it is. We're going to make something simple. I'll show you how to, how to draw something very simple. And I know you don't have a lot of time with the holidays approaching, but hopefully you'll have a few minutes to sit down and play with this. Watch this video over and over again. So what we are going to start with, we've got to open your program. Come on, open that Art and Stitch up and let's play every day. If it just takes five minutes, we're going to go to our shape tool and if you click on that little arrow below, you'll get a fly out menu and we want to choose the ellipse, which is a circle, because it makes circles and ovals. And we are going to draw this circle here. So I chose the, if I click on the circle, my mouse will change. And if you left click and drag, hold that key down. And if you press control on your keyboard, that circle will turn into a perfectly round circle instead of an oval. You'll see if we click on that and just dragged it like that, we get, and I drag more down than I did across, I get an oval. Okay, okay, how did I make this one blue? Well, click on that circle that you drew and hit fill over here in the properties panel, and that will click apply, that will fill it in, and we're don't have to worry about what size because I made this circle a perfect inch. Okay, and that's how no matter what you drew over here, you can change it simply to an inch by typing in one. And oh, it turned it into an oval because I didn't have the maintain aspect ratio box checked, so I'll need to change both. Okay, and hit apply, and voila. So if I had selected that one, went to transform, and selected this to any size, make sure that box is checked, both these would change. Okay, we've got that got that uh, circle created and then I want you to either on your Windows or your PC um, hit the control key and D as in dog and that is uh, D for duplicate and that will duplicate the circle or you can go up here to your copy icon and copy and then paste it. I've already done that to save some time and we're going to set up two circles if you wanted to drag down a little guideline that's what that little dotted line is or turn on your um, grid up here you can use either of those and if you um, right click you can turn on Let's unselect all the all the others. Right click on the line. Oh, right click on the sorry. To to see, even I forget some things. Right click on the bar, and then we can snap to grid lines. And that will make sure everything we draw snaps right to those. And it's important when we're drawing the this line. Uh, that we want to begin and end on those same uh, levels, on those guidelines. 
And uh, why did we draw these circles? We're, we're going to use these circles to draw our guidelines. So I'm going to go down here. This is our, these are our drawing tools. I'm going to choose the three point arc and draw this line. Now I've gone ahead and drawn this ahead of time and each of these, um, let me hit my S key and I had the uh, snap to points. I only want the snap to guidelines. Um, each of those points indicated where I left clicked. So I left click up here, left click here, left click here, left click here, click, 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 and click. So with that, I have the shape that I want for my ribbon candy. And you'll see I use that uppermost point of my circles. So that's important because we're going to create, uh, we're using that as a guide and we're going to create several variations of this. I'm going to use the little eyeball in my sequence view and uh, hide the circles for now. So now I just have that line that I've drawn. That's my candy. I've got my select tool selected. Select your line. So you have a little box around it now. Go up here to your um, repeat tool. And we're only going to need one down. And this will give you a preview of what this is going to look like. You'll only need to save one, but look, there you've got perfect ribbon candy sewn out in just a few steps. That's quicker than making ribbon candy from scratch with sugar and all the good things that, that comes with Christmas. So um, save this as a working file. Go up to File, Save As, and you'll have ribbon candy for your next border or sashing on your quilt. And just remember, you have to repeat it in um, Pro Stitcher, and you can adjust height and width and how many times you want to repeat this design. But wait, there's more. We can play with that basic design and build on it. Okay, here we have the three shapes. I've done another outline. Let's turn off our circles. We'll hide those. Clicking on the little eye. Okay, now you've seen I've added another loop de loo. So I've come up here, drawn all the way around here. My path goes around and then up and back here. Okay, so if I turn on my reshape tool, you'll be able to see there are the dots. These are Again, the snap two points. We want to only see the ones that I created by left clicking my mouse. So I went around and up and there. So my beginning point green, ending point red. Go back to my select tool, to the repeat tool. We only need one. And there. Isn't that neat? Some A different kind of candy. You could also maybe put a circle up at the top. Okay, we've got that. I called it ribbon candy too, so that's a variation. And let's go to a third variation. This one, I've already turned off the uh, circles. Let's turn that back on and go to the reshape tool. You'll see on this one, I brought those lines in ever so slightly, and that's these. So they are not in the very center of that circle. I brought them over just a little bit inside and made this variation. So when I select that line and do my repeat tool, it does a little candy that overlaps. So there's one more variation and I know you can there's a lot out there you can make more I've made only the bottom 
uh, loops overlap. You can also play with your reshape. Just drag, if you click on one of these dots and drag them over, you see you get handles. You can reshape. That's the reshape tool. That's what it's for. Drag those uh, points around. Let's drag them over like that. And let's see what that one does. I'll go up to the repeat tool. And I only need one again. And we'll squeeze in the horizontal distance so they come in closer together. And there you see I've made a loop. We'll hit the snap together, which is a new feature in the latest. And there I have yet another variation of the ribbon candy. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Remember, um, there's more on my YouTube channel. And go to the Art & Stitch website and look at some of the uh, Stay Sew at Home classes. Don't forget, if you haven't already, join my Facebook group, the Art & Stitch Pro Stitcher Digital Quilting Fuse. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're viewing this video in YouTube. Visit, stop by my website, or if you have questions, drop me an email. So I wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and I'll see you next year.